Hi, my name is Logan Lebanoff, and I'm a student at the University of Central Florida. My work is on understanding points of correspondence between sentences for abstractive summarization. This work was done with John Muchevedge from my lab and collaborators from Adobe, Frank Dernancourt, Du Soon Kim, Lee Don Wong, and Walter Chang, and my advisor, Fei Liu. Let's go into the motivation for this work. So a very important part of summarization is being able to fuse different sentences together, and humans are quite good at doing this. Here's an example. So if I asked you to fuse these two sentences together about Robert Downey Jr. walking out of an interview with a journalist because they started asking personal questions, you might choose this content and then create this fused sentence. So while this is easy for humans to do, it's very hard for modern abstractive summarizers to do. For example, the pointer generator network only performs fusion 6% of the time, while humans do it at a much higher rate. We also found in a previous work that when summarizers do attempt to perform sentence fusion, they often contain incorrect facts, which is a huge problem for a real world usage. So here's an example of pointer generator generating an incorrect fusion. So if you, it says that Robert Downey Jr. started asking personal questions, which is obviously incorrect. So we propose that fusing sentences will remain difficult unless we identify what we call points of correspondence between the sentences. Excuse me. And we define this loosely as something that ties two sentences together. So for, in our case, um, one thing that ties these two sentences together or as a point of correspondence between these sentences is um, the entity Robert Downey Jr., which is referenced in both sentences, and the British journalist, which is represented in both sentences. So we believe that identifying points of correspondence can be improved sentence fusion in two different ways. The first is sentence selection as in, we shouldn't be fusing two sentences that do not contain any points of correspondence between them. And we can better inform models with this information to generate more accurate sentence fusions. So the main contributions of this work are that we are the first effort at establishing points of correspondence between disparate sentences. To do this, we create a new data set of 1,600 examples for sentence fusion containing human annotated corresponding regions between pairs of sentences. This data set is available on GitHub. So here's a quick look at what it looks like. So first there's a link to the original article, news article, and then there's the two input sentences and the uh, corresponding fused sentence, and then a list of the points of correspondence between the sentences which manifests itself as the text segments within each sentence and the point of correspondence type, which I'll go over soon. We also release a visualization of these points of correspondence within the original article, which shows itself as highlighted regions with different colors for each point of correspondence. So this is very important for summarization in that it can help us better understand how humans perform sentence fusion in summarization. And this can give us insights into how we can automate this process. This data set also provides a useful evaluation benchmark for summarization models to see how well they perform sentence fusion. So let's look at some of the previous work. So previous sentence fusion work often merges sentences conveying similar information. Uh, the problem is, is that humans don't just convey it, don't just merge sentences with similar information, they also merge sentences with very different information. Also many studies derive a connected graph based on common words between the sentences. However, they fail when there are no common words between sentences. Also, few studies have investigated the types of correspondence, such as if entity and event co between sentences. And so we present the first study into the look 
into to look into the cues that humans use to establish correspondence between disparate sentences. So we identify five different types of correspondence between sentences, and this is based on the theory of text cohesion from work on in 1976 by Halliday and Hassan. So the first point of correspondence type is pronominal co-reference. And this is when there is an entity with a mention in each sentence where one of those mentions is a pronoun. Next, nominal co-reference, where there are two entity mentions and one of them contains a name. Next is common noun co-reference, where both entity mentions do not contain a name or a pronoun. Instead, they just have common nouns. Next is repetition, where both entity mentions are exactly the same string. Next is event triggers, where both mentions represent the same event, which usually manifests itself as verbs. Next, we describe how we created the data set. So first, we used a heuristic from a previous work that can automatically extract sentence fusion instances from summarization data. So each instance is the two input sentences and a corresponding fused sentence. And we take this data from CNN Daily Mail validation and test set, and we use only the CNN split because we find that these sentence fusions are much higher quality. <clears throat> so we make use of Amazon Mechanical Turk in two different stages. In the first stage, we give the worker the two input sentences from the news article and the uh, corresponding fused sentence. And what we task the worker to do is to decide, is this a valid sentence fusion of these input article sentences? Does it contain content from both article sentences? And if so, then it'll check mark the both. And so this will filter out the bad fusion instances from our heuristic. So once we filtered out the bad fusion instances, we move on to stage two, where the workers are, again, given the two input sentences and a fused sentence. And now they're tasked with highlighting the points of correspondence between these sentences. So in this case, the point of correspondence is this Yemen leader named Hadi. They'll also pick the point of correspondence type. In this case, it's name because there is a name in the point of correspondence. Also, there can be multiple points of correspondence in one instance, and so we allow the workers to choose multiple points of correspondence. So what we end up with is, again, 1,600 sentence fusion instances with annotated points of correspondence. We obtain high inter-annotator agreement using slice kappa judged on each word, whether it's highlighted or not, we obtain a 0.58 slice kappa. Next, we look at co-reference resolution and how um, points of correspondence relate to co-reference resolution. So we can see that it's very similar to the task of identifying points of correspondence. So it's a natural step to see how well can co-reference resolvers be adapted to this task. So if they can perform well at point of correspondence identification, then they can be used to automatically extract these points of correspondence to help improve fusion models. So we compare three different co-reference resolvers on our data set. And here are the results. So we use a modified version of the B cubed algorithm to evaluate. And you can see the details in the paper. So we see that each resolver has similar results, but they're all quite low with about 30% F1 score. And this shows that co-reference resolution models struggle to use the high-level reasoning that humans use to determine what connects two sentences together. Next, we take a preliminary look at how well current summarizers can do on our data set at performing sentence fusion. So the input are two article sentences and the output is the fused sentence. So 
we look at three baseline methods. The first is a concatenation baseline, which just creates the fusion sentence by just concatenating the two input sentences. And this is just good for comparison. Next is pointer generator, which is a sequence to sequence model with attention and copy mechanism. And a transformer, in our case, we use a decoder only transformer like GPT-2, but we initialize it with BERT-based parameters. So each summarizer is trained on 100,000 instances, which we derive from the training split of CNN and Daily Mail. We use the same heuristic used in the data set creation. We then evaluate on our point of correspondence data set. So here are the results. So pointer generator actually underperforms the concatenation baseline. And this is because it generally performs well on highly extractive tasks but doesn't perform well on abstractive ones. And sentence fusion is definitely an abstractive one. Transformer significantly outperforms both, likely due to the pre-training and better ability to write abstractively. Also, we expect that the performance of these models can be improved by incorporating points of correspondence information into these models. So in summary, we present the first effort at annotating points of correspondence between disparate sentences. We also release a benchmark data set comprised of the document source and fusion sentences and human annotations of points of correspondence between sentences. We also believe that points of correspondence have the potential to improve sentence fusion and summarization in general. Thank you.